Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. I've got three sweet wines in front of me, and uh, I like sweet wines, and I wish that we all drank more of them. Um, and uh, one thing we are drinking quite a lot more of at the moment is Moscato. Uh, so the first one I've got is Wirra Wirra's uh, 2011 Mrs. Wiggly Moscato from McLaren Vale, and it's named after, uh, well, the founder of, uh, of Wirra Wirra was uh, a, a um, uh, was it Robert Strangeways Wiggly or something like that? Um, but Mrs. Wiggly apparently is the cat. Now you'll notice with this, it comes with one of those, so I thought I might as well open it. Well, go on, off you go. There we go. Um, it's not the only um, Australian pink mus muscat that comes with one of these. Uh, there's a really good one called Innocent Bystander. Let's see how this compares with that. Rounded, like cr freshly crushed strawberries with grapes in there as well. Um, it's um, it, it's just juicy, jolly. What, what alcohol is it? Like probably like six percent or something like four and a half percent. It's almost like breakfast wine. Let's uh, let's tr try it. Oh, critics would say there's probably a bit of the lucasade about it, but um, I could drink quite a lot of that. And a four and a half percent, I think most people could drink quite a lot of it. Don't think it's quite as good as the innocent bystander one, um, and um, I think that's uh, partly because um, uh, for freshness in the wine, McLaren Vale's probably just that little bit too hot, and uh, whereas a Yarra Valley, whereas innocent, where the innocent bystander comes from, is uh, a little bit cooler, but um, pretty, pretty quaffable gear. We like. Let's see whether we like uh, the second one, Les Derniers Grives from Domaine du Tariquet, uh, Côte de Gascoigne, 2010. And I think it's called Dernier Grieve, uh, something like it. It's, they, they picked this when the last, I think Grieve are thrushes? When, when the last thrushes have, um, uh, have uh, flown south or wherever they fly to. Uh, so late harvest, uh, and it's, it's the same grapes that they use for Jurançon, I think. Petit Monseigne is the main, yeah, Petit Monseigne. So 11.5%. So I don't think it's Botrytis, but uh, just a late harvest uh, sweet wine. And Petit Monseigne does terrific uh, sweet wines. I mean, I stick my nose in there. And there's that honeyed toffee apple, but there's this piercing uh, cooked apple freshness as well. And um, a, a green apple, cooked green apple. It smells, it smells wonderful. Oh, delicious. Absolutely lovely. Um, and, um, yeah, it's, it's, got, it's got a bit of tannin in there. It's weird you think of uh, tannin in, in um, white wine, but it feels like the, the, the grapes have got so shriveled up. Um, that uh, crushing them has been a bit of a struggle and they've got a bit of tannin in there as a result uh, but there's this lovely voluptuous fruit round it so um, uh, yeah have it with your apple tart or things like that but I, I love that with some blue cheese I, I think that's, that's absolutely terrific and uh, it, it's just got this freshness it's got this pounce about it um, and uh, Vintage 2010. I, I've got a feeling that this is still going to be going strong 10 years from now and uh, really lovely. We like that. There's some Jurançon that's even better than that, but that's still pretty good. Final one. Uh, Las Moras Late Harvest Viognier 2009 from San Juan in Argentina. And uh, uh, same sort of level of alcohol, 11.5%. And again, I don't think any botrytis here, um, but uh, let's give it a whirl. It smells like it's going to be on the subtle side for a uh, South American late harvest. Uh, I look at the colour and it, it feels like it's still wanting to be a white wine rather than a brown or orange wine. Um, so there's this um, crisp, again, the cooked apple character. Uh, no, maybe not the herby intensity that there was in the, fir the first one. And... Um, in terms of Viognier character, I can't say I get a huge amount of the out-and-out uh, uh, -out apricotty richness there, uh, but um, it smells it smells okay. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah gentle. Um, not the um, not the, the that lovely sweet and sour tension that's in the one before. Here, it feels like they, they've. Um, uh, they, they, I, I don't know what, what they balance the, uh, the sweetness with. There's just something that, that's a little bit hard on the finish, um, but I like its uh, gentle juiciness, and it's not trying to be yeah, it's not trying to be too um, too loud. Um, okay, um, and uh, yeah, not my favourite of the three. I mean, the Tarakade stands out head and shoulders above the other two, uh, but um, still, I, I mean, again. Bring, bring any of these out. Actually, bring the, the, the second two out with the cheese. Bring the first one out with breakfast. See you soon.